Hello everyone, Turkey here again. Uh, coming to you today with something else that I came up with. This is a cyclonic separator that I made for uh, electrochemical machining. And I made it to fit on top of a pop bottle. Now this is version one and I'll admit I had some printing issues. So I had a little separation right here and it ended up not being very watertight, but you shouldn't have any issue with it. And as you can see, it just fits right on top of there. Um, version one is a little bit tighter in the cap, so this isn't produced as well as I'd like it to. I uh, pushed the cap in there and was not able to get it out. Version two is a little bit looser. You should be able to put it in there properly. But um, let me show you how it works. So today I'm running a rather temporary setup. I found out that my chamber needs to be cut for another 10 seconds. So I had to do this whole thing again. It's a little bit of a pain, but it is what it is. But here you can see the cyclonic separator. Now, this is the inlet to the cyclonic separator itself. And out the top, it leads to the inlet of the pump. The pump pushes it through up to the top and to the top of the barrel. This acts as the filter would in the documentation, but it doesn't tend to clog up your pump nearly as much. And um, I'll give you a demonstration once it's turned on here. The pump is gonna slowly pull some of this salt water into the soda bottle. Now it's going to crush a little bit just because it's under some negative pressure, but what it'll end up doing is separating out a lot of the heavier stuff. Oh. Right, so you'll probably want to have it a little bit more secure than I had it before. Uh, just because well, it makes a bit of a mess. But you can see the flow rate's really high and it's still able to filter out all that salt water. And just to be clear, this is not going to filter out every single bit of solid within your solution, but it's going to make sure that nothing that's going to come in and damage the pump is going to be able to get through that line. I'll give you an example here in a little bit with some sand after I'm done cutting this pipe. Now that my chamber has been cut, I feel like y'all deserve a proper demonstration. In here, I have some sand that I've been using for annealing some PLA. I'm going to dump it into the water and show you how it collects into this uh, pop bottle. And we'll just let down at the bottom there. Let's throw in a little bit more, shall we? There you have it. ECM pop bottle cyclone separator. After you're done with your ECM process, you can just tape your pop bottle and cap it. Hope you all enjoy.